Hello, this is Bill Webb, AKA Bill Indiana. Today I'm gonna to do an unboxing for a recent Kickstarter. In fact, it just arrived yesterday and it is Resurgence. This is a Stan Kordonsky game by his company, Half a Kingdom Games. So if you're curious to see what comes in the box, stay tuned. So Resurgence is one of the most recent games by Stanislav Kordonsky, and he's made games like M Old West Impresario, Dice Hospital, Rurik Don of Kiev, Lock Up a Role Player Story, uh, Role Player Tale, I think. And this one is a sort of militant type of um, orientation or, or storyline here, theme. So we can see here the art on the sides and the top. And looks like both sides are vertically oriented with just different art. On the back, you can see no one really knows what triggered the one the, the one day war between the superpowers. A single day day is all it took to end the before world. After the governments collapsed, leaderless groups of survivors huddle in the ruins of once great cities. The climate is brutal, the resources are scarce, and mutant tribes are roaming the wastelands. The world desperately needs a hero to rally the people and lift them out of the rubble. And now uh, we see the contents here, and you see some pictures. It's a game for one to four players, ages 14 and up, and 60 to 120 minutes expected game length. So let's take a look inside the box. It's The box feels really dense. It's not super big, um, but it does feel quite heavy for the size. I think they've packed a lot into this box. It's not really a traditional size box either. It's, yeah, it's it's almost like a, a little bit bigger than an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper if I orient it this way. So um, that's about the size. It's hard to tell relatively. Cover off. And inside, right on the top, we see the rule book. And it says, Introduction, Resurgence is a game set in an alternate history of the 20th century. Humanity's worst fears came to pass and civilization collapsed following a nuclear exchange between the superpowers. Those who lived through it now huddle together in the ruins of the old cities, trying to survive, regroup, and rebuild your, your goal. It's a competitive Euro game. The goal is to have the most victory points after six rounds. All right, and we can see here we've got a table of contents and a list of all the components the setup of the game and then the gameplay in its steps all the different worker actions upkeep and then final scoring and then looks like some summary of the different game actions some highlights of what the parts of the board are and the directive cards survivor cards index solo rules and solo mutant actions and then we've got the Encounters expansion. I don't know if that was part of the Kickstarter only or if that's in the retail version as well. And then an icon reference. That's nice to have on the back. I don't know if there's player references in here or not, but it's nice to have an easy place for everybody to just look and see what do these icons represent. So I appreciate that. Very nice. All right, looks like these might be player boards and they look to be identical at first glance. So there are four player boards on here. On the back just says Resurgence. There. Looks like this is probably the game board. Very tight fit. Let's see if we can get it stretched out here so you can see all or most of it. All right. So in the top corner, we've got some kind of a score track. Over here, we've got a place looks like for putting tiles or cards. And then we've got the another place for cards across the top and then the main sort of map of the board and then looks like the scoring around that map it says our uh, barbarian gate hope island museum row kremlin arbat and so that's what we see uh, on the map or on the board the back is just plain black and then it looks like we've got some punch boards here so it looks like there's some tiles that are going to be used along different places, some bigger and smaller ones. Oh, well, this is a, a bigger piece here. So maybe each player is going to get one of these. Is there? Well, there's only 
three punch boards. So, oh, yeah, it does look like there's, yep, pink, yellow, green, and blue. Some uh, binoculars punch out there. Some kind of a round squaring, or maybe this might be for the solo counters table. And then these tiles are smaller. And then it counters table. All right. So those are what comes on the punch board. We got some baggies to sort everything out. Lots of baggies. I'm not sure we need that many. We'll see. And then it looks like there's a separate bag for each of the colors. The pink, the blue, the green, and the yellow. And then another one for other pieces, perhaps, that are used by everybody. We've got cards. These are the smaller size cards. can take a quick look at those here in a minute. We've got nice wooden piece here. I'm not, I forget what this piece is, if it's a first player, but it's a nice chunky wooden piece. And then we've got um, some wooden pieces of the different characters. Looks like there's wolves and men and people with gas masks on these. It's been a while since I read anything about the game, so I'm going to have to definitely go through the rules again to refresh my memory on how to play and, and uh, what style of Euro game this is. This has got bread. So it looks like raindrops, but they're yellow, so maybe sundrops. I don't know, and some kind of gears here. And then we've got uh, the players' pieces. Again, all wooden discs here in the different player colors, pink, green, blue, and yellow. And then we've got some other wooden tokens here to mark a variety of things in the game, I'm sure. And then we've got, looks like shield for each player. Uh, with the game art on it. So the shield would go up like this, and the art that would be facing away from the players is here. And then what the players see on the back side looks like it's going to kind of guide them through the steps of the game once you're familiar with the iconography and the rules. So those are those pieces. Um, I don't know if I'll open up all these cards, but we can take a look. One of the right ways I'm sure that this game is uh, able to be tightly compact in a pretty small box is these cards are small. Um, they're not the typical kind of poker size. We've got some here with this uh, radioactive symbol on the back. <laughs> and then some with just nothing on the backpack. And then binoculars, a star. So there's a, a bunch of backpack cards with different things. And then these have the fist. And we can turn these over and see what's on the other side. Okay, mutants. So we've got mutant cards there. They have different icons at the bottom, though. Looks like some kind of a drone, a building, some kind of statue, perhaps, or a radio tower, maybe. Yeah, so different icons at the bottom. And then these with the backpacks. Looks like they're goals, maybe, with victory points, perhaps, I'm guessing, for some of these. These are the ones with the questions on them, so perhaps game-end goals. And then this says the beginning, first round card, no special rules, spirit of cooperation. You do not need to pay penalty for other players' tokens when placing the survivors in the Kremlin district. So these looks like maybe different events, perhaps, that happened during the game. Or maybe you, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> and then these look like resource cards of some sort. You see bread and maybe a helmet or goggles and then a gear and a person. And so we can see the different elements, different resources there. That's just the plain backed. And then these have, again, looks like probably some sort of either round by round scoring or in game scoring with the maybe mutants uh, symbol there on the back. Take a look. I'm curious now. We'll see what these other cards. Looks like there's a lot of different kinds of cards. I love it when they use that kind of wrapping for them. They're so much easier to open. So on the back, we see mission cards. There's quite a few of those. And these have like a radio tower down the bottom corner. And then these have an S. Maybe these are the starting mission cards. And these have no emblem in the bottom, but they're also mission cards. So we'll take a look at a few here. Attack the mutants. Protect a caravan. Battle a local gang. Help refugees. Burn giant rat. Deliver a message. Resupply forward troops. Kremlin sortie. Seal off a mutant nest. Fortify the riverbank. First contact. So lots of different missions there. And then the last pack here. On the back of these, we can see the hands on those. The whole deck, no. 
most of the deck. Oh, that is the same emblem, but some with a red back and a star and some with a kind of brownish black color there. So let's take a look what's on. Okay, these are maybe roles here. Traffic Cop, Mystic, Cosmonaut, Olympian, Surgeon, and Librarian. Well, that doesn't look like any librarian I've ever seen. <laughs> and then these, oh, lots more roles. Looks like truck driver, maybe just people you would come into contact with. Farmer, miner, foreman. And so these all have this same art. And then we've got firefighter, mechanic, gunsmith. And again, these all have the same art. And then inspector, sapper, sailor, and several here with that art. Hunter, scout, bodyguard, smuggler, that art. Chemist, archaeologist, veterinarian, psychologist, pharmacist with that art. And then lab tech, doctor, biologist, botanist, architect, and brewer with that art. So that is what comes in the Kickstarter version of Resurgence. Well, I hope that was helpful for you to see what comes in the Kickstarter deluxe version of Resurgence with all the different components. If you did enjoy it, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up down below, and it'd be terrific if you'd also choose to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions about the game, I'm not sure when I'll get it to the table, but hopefully soon. I'll try to answer those as soon as possible. And as always, thanks for watching. This is Billy Indiana, signing off. Huh.